Hi, it's Karen the Weekend Craftaholic and welcome to my craft haul for February 23. If you saw my previous videos, you'll know I've been absent throughout the last couple of months because of my hand, because of my ankle, I got in a few scrapes, but you can see it's on the mend. I'm almost back to full capacity now. Still don't have full strength back and full motion, but we are getting there. So I am hoping to be back with my normal videos sooner than later. Not a lot to share with you, but I will share with you what I do have. So you can see here, um, just a couple of things that I picked up at Spotlight. I got my 40% off coupon and I managed to get these then for $6. These are the Vicky Booten Print Shop. Um, these particular washes I loved. This is the reason I got these. Um, I thought they would be really great to add to my collection. So it's a good price. And I also got the Copics. Now these are just gray ones. I do, uh, the cool gray I should say. So I do have, have the black and the sepia and I love the way these write. They've got different nib sizes and I love writing with the skinny ones. So great to get these in my collection. These were 30% off as well. Then whilst I was out, I popped to Office Works. Now, if you saw my favorites for 2022, you'll know that I listed this pencil as one of my favorites. So whilst I was in, I picked up another one. Still pretty cheap at $4.20 and you get all of these refills. I'd need to figure out how to actually put the refills in. But the reason I picked up another one is so that I could leave this in my little work um, room as well, my little office when I'm working from home. So I um, managed to pick that up whilst I was in. But the main reason for going in was to get these Posca pens. So if you saw my craft haul for January, you'll know that I got a six, I think it was a six pack set of these. Um, these are just acrylic pens and um, I love the way they write. In fact, let me take one of these wrappings and I will show you um, just what I mean the way they write. So these are for my planner. Um, I've set up a little desk in my little office area. I had a spare desk there that I'm using to keep all my planner supplies. So that's crept, so that's crept out of my craft room. Okay. Okay, now when you first use these, you do need to prime them, which basically means just pushing it up and down a little to get the ink flowing or the fluid flowing. I don't think it's ink as such. It's almost has like a chalk effect. So you can see here just how they write. Um, what I love about these is the way that they color in. They, um, you don't get any marks whatsoever. Um, they really blend really well when you're colouring in with these as well, as you can see, nice coverage. They do do thicker nibs, but I did want a smaller, the smaller nibbed ones, because I do love smaller nibs. Um, does it say? 0.7 millimetres these are. So I've picked up um, all of these colours, they sell them singular as you can see, and these are all the thinner colours now that I've got, um, even a black, which I think would be great as well. So I managed to get all of those, which I'm really pleased about. And then I went to, for the love of scrap, in Joonlet, the local craft booking store, picked up the latest Distress Oxide colour. And it is an oxide this time. The amount of times that I've just picked up the Distress ink by mistake is ridiculous. So definitely making sure that I don't do that this time. So this is Lost Shadow, which I'm sure you're familiar with. And then hopefully the little cubes for the mini inks will come out soon, because there's a few of those I'm missing now. Also picked up some more of these Totally Tiffany Pockets. Um, these are just three by three and a half inch wide. These are perfect for my little stamps and little dies. So keeping those in. And then also um, a few more refills as well. So I do love the scrapbook.com mini ink blending foams. In fact, they are my favorite above the Ranger. But now that the cost of postage from the US is um, so expensive, as well as all the taxes that they charge, um, I thought it, I'd just pick up these for some of the newer colours that I've got recently. Um, I needed a few more of these, but if I had a choice, I'd definitely pick the scrapbook.com ones. I think um, they just seem to um, blend so much smoother. I love the coverage they give. They seem to be a bit more sturdy. I don't know if you've ever bought the Ranger ones before, but the little foam ones, they just get quite tatty. Uh, let me show you what I mean. Do I have one? They just get like really tatty and um, they don't last forever. They kind of disintegrate when you're using them. So 
picked up these, but these will last forever because now that I've got one of these for each of my Distress Outside colours. So that is my craft all for February. Not a lot in here, mainly because I've not been crafting because of this. Um, I have been doing a lot of colouring though, which is what got me onto wanting to nip out and get a few more of these. I've been using the other ones quite a lot. Um, they were the pastel colours, so I wanted some more of the kind of um, solid primary type colours as well, just to add to those. So uh, not a lot, um, a little bit of organisation, a little bit of just the basic essentials and um, a little bit more bling as well for when I do my planner. So that is it for February. Thank you for watching. Thank you for bearing with me while I've been absent for so long and I'm very close to being back to normal. So you will see me crafting again very soon. I hope you have a great crafting weekend too.